Benjamin grease like Zeus. Uh huh. AKBA. Benjamin on my shoe. Marjola on my shoe. What's good with y'all niggas? It's your boy Winterfire Spiritual J, man. A nigga, a nigga outside and shit. This shit feel great. You feel me? Sun always come through for a nigga. Feel great and shit. But check me out, right? This video ain't really got no specific meaning behind it. I just came to get y'all this video, man. Outside, under the sun, and within the trees, within nature, you feel me? I'm trying to get everybody on the same shit, bro. Dead ass. I'm trying to get everybody on the same shit. You see me happy, smiling and shit, man. A lot of people be out here depressed, sad, and having anxiety and shit, bro. It's not enough. It's not enough space in life for that. You feel me? You got so much more to become. Well, if that's the case, well, actually, I'm gonna make this video about depression, sadness, and anxiety. Then you feel me? Now. I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna take it step by step, all right? So hear me out. Depression, if you don't know what depression is, I've I've been through depression myself, you feel me? Depression, that's that's probably, I, I feel like that's the lowest, that's the lowest form of life besides real hate. That's the lowest form of life besides real hate, you feel me? Or feeling hatred, all right? Nigga, depression is not, is not nothing to be like, that shit is not nothing to be fucked around with. Cause it seems as if once you get once you get depressed or get into that depression, it seems incredibly hard to get out of it, right? It's incredibly hard to get out of it and be just happy with your life, you feel me? Depression can be a staggering state and a lot of people get stuck within depression, you feel me? But when it comes down to depression, bro, it's something where you you have to you have to go through that to learn how to get out of that depression yourself. It's not really nothing anybody could tell you to help you get out of depression, my nigga. I wouldn't tell you to take no drugs to get out of depression because once the drugs is gone, you just deepen your depression by taking those drugs. You feel me? So if well, I, what I'm going to say about it is when you're depressed, you don't you don't need to you don't need to be uh, what's the word for it? Like you got to really take time out for yourself and. Pay attention to how you really feel and what you and think about what you really depressed about and how you can get over that depression, my nigga. You feel me? Now it may it's 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 ways it's way simpler said than actually done, my nigga. I was stuck in being depressed for a long ass time, but nigga, I'm fucking out here enjoying my fucking life really in the sun every day. Goddamn smiling, I'm happy, you feel me? So when it comes down to sadness, it's kind of the same thing, but with me, even even still, even still being how I am and taking care of myself, I still get random waves of sadness. You feel me? Just random waves of sadness. Like I don't know where it comes from, but I always find a way to think. Like, what am I actually sad about? How can I overcome this sadness? And and what can I do to prevent this sadness from happening again? You feel me? That's how you got to think about shit in life, bro. Cause that shit can stagger you and. And lower your vibration and stop your and stop your process. Your like your process in life and your successful rate. You feel me? Being sad is I would say it's kind of the same thing as depression. But to me, depression is the same thing. But it's that shit staggers. Like that shit is like it's like a nigga. It's like a nigga still keeps slapping you. Like he slap you every day. He slapping you all day every day. You feel me? With sadness, it's just one hard ass slap for me. You feel me? I know that's a wild ass way to express that shit, but that's how I just thought about expressing it though, you feel me? So, boom, anxiety, right? Now, I just recently got, got rid of my anxiety when I started taking care of myself, better myself, watching what I eat, watching who I who, who is in my surroundings and watch who I surround myself with, you feel me? So, if you don't know what anxiety is, <laughs> I don't even know how to like, anxiety is just like it's, it's kind of i wouldn't say a nervous feeling but it is kind of like a feeling from the gut for me this is how this how anxiety was for me is a feeling from the gut where i'm always overthinking you feel me i've always been an overthinker and when i found out about anxiety i'm like damn maybe i got anxiety and it seemed like the more that i thought i had anxiety the more i would come into feeling like i had anxiety like damn i'm overthinking what if this or that happened or 
what if this is gonna happen after I do this? But sometimes those do be strategic thoughts. But a lot of times it be it was it. I felt like it was my anxiety talking, bro. You got to learn how to control your mental state and control your anxiety. And it's easier said than done. Once again, you feel me? It's not that easy to control your anxiety. I just recently got out of my anxiety because I thought like I'm taking care of myself. I'm eating good. I'm getting signed. I'm out here with the fucking trees and shit every day. You feel me? I don't really have nothing to have anxiety about. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have nothing to have anxiety about. I'm not taking no drugs. You feel me? I'm not getting getting no anxiety from taking no drugs neither. So what what do I what am I gonna have anxiety about? You feel me? But yeah, man, it feel good being out here in the sun. It feel good meditating every day, man. It feel good taking care of myself. I'm actually happy. Like it's been a long time since I've been able to say that I'm actually happy. Like. I have no complaints. You feel me? Another thing, I've said this in previous videos before, but I'm going to say it again. Don't focus so much on the past. You can't do shit about the past, my nigga. And don't focus so much on the future. Now, let me tell you something about focusing on the future, right? When you decide that you're going to focus on the future, make sure you're not focused on no bad shit. That's how you really get anxiety, if you think about it. What do you have anxiety about? You focus on some shit for tomorrow or the next week or the next month. Some shit you can't even fucking control, my nigga. I'm not getting mad or nothing. I'm just like, it's just how I express myself. I'm trying to give it to y'all how I feel. You feel me? But yeah, that's just some shit that you can't, you, you, you can't control it. You got to stop trying to control the future and live your life in the current state that you're in, my nigga. Don't be focused so much on the past nor the future. If you're going to focus on the future, think positive about the future. But don't overthink on the future, even if you're thinking positive. You feel me? You got to think about here. You're here now. You so focused on the future, you forgot that you are here now, my nigga. Focus on, focus on you while you're here now. But, man, other day, I was mad as fuck because it was raining and shit. And I couldn't come out here and get no sun. That was, I was mad as hell. I ain't even going to lie, bro. I was mad as hell. I couldn't come out here and get no fucking sun, man. I love the sun. No funny shit. I really do love the sun. Like, look at that shit. It's like, that shit. I never noticed how good the sun feel, feels on my fucking skin until I got on my spiritual shit. You feel me? But this video already long enough. See what I'm saying? Out here in the sun, man. I've been doing a little sun gazing too. But sometimes, you know what I'm saying, that shit do be that shit do be getting too bright. I gotta focus on I gotta pay attention to how I feel when I do that shit sometimes. But it's your boy, one of our spiritual J. Signing out, man. Protect your energy and stay safe.